Today's sharing from the Mayhair Archive Collective is something very exciting. We are sharing with you today treasures from the newly donated Shaw Family Collection. Today you will see several letters written by Quentin Todd from Portofino from 1933 and they are signed by Baba. And even more endearing is to think that Darwin and Jean didn't actually see Baba or meet him in person until 1934. How thrilled they must have been to get these letters and draw closer and closer to Meher Baba and his divine love. Enjoy! It looks like there's tea stains here. And what is it that you found? A letter from? It's a letter to Darwin Shaw from Quentin Todd. And who? And else? for some reason it has Baba's signature on it. All my love to you and yours. Parenthesis, signed by our Baba. So Baba, Baba dictated that quote, all my love. Baba yeah. dictated all the time. Yeah, so yeah. So much in that signature and is this, very powerful. It's, it's beautiful, isn't it? Really beautiful. This is like gold. Oh, very good. There's something else in here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Quite a lot. Oh, oh, oh. Could it be goodness. another treasure? <laughs> I think it is. Ah. This is the most beautiful young man. This is Quentin Todd oh, as a British officer. Goodness. Isn't he gorgeous? Could he be more Darling. British? Could he possibly and be more British? And his autograph is there, oh, my dear. I know. This is fabulous. Hip, hip, hurrah. <laughs> oh, my God. This oh. is fun. This is from Portofino. Oh, God. 22nd of July. Okay. Now, this is a challenge. I can't really flatten it, but... This is like dessert first. Mm -hmm. This is the whole meal. And now, in one envelope, we have one, two, three, four items. Uh, Villa Alta Chiara, Portofino. Our beloved Baba was so pleased with your letter. Words cannot describe what it has been like, and I'm wondering if it is all a dream. It is a wonderful, large family, Baba's friends, more than friends, I must say. And the date is not finally the first year, 33. June 25th, Fiorenza, Santa Margarita. Liguria. My dear Darwin Shaw, a complete stranger is writing to you, but Baba wishes me to write and tell you how happy he was to get the few lines you sent him, and also to give you some idea of his future plans. Baba arrived in Genoa on the 23rd, and Princess Machabelli, Elizabeth Patterson, and Anita De Caro arrived the same day by car from Cherbourg. People are coming from various parts to see Baba, and he is going to make a few short trips from here. Then he will return to India in about a month's time, for about three weeks, and then come straight to London, where he will speak immediately. After having spoken in England, he intends to come to America, and will of course see you. I will let you know from time to time what plans he has, and when he will be coming over. With best wishes, yours sincerely, Quentin Todd. All my love to you and yours, M.S. Irani, signed by our Baba. Letter from Quentin Todd to Darwin Shaw, July 22nd, 1933, Portofino Mar, Liguri, Italy. My dear Darwin, I thought it was charming of you to write me such a nice letter in which you expressed so much love for Baba. Anita has told me about you and your wife and the little baby, and I think it is wonderful that you love Baba so much without ever having seen him. 
He appreciates all you said in your letter, and I know that when you do see him, you will love him even more. We have been here at this villa ever since he arrived on the 23rd of June. We were such a big party, but we found it less expensive to take a villa, and we have been in the most beautiful one around here. You can imagine what a joy it has been to live in such wonderful surroundings with Barbara. We have been so fortunate, but I feel our share has been almost too great and that we have not appreciated it enough yet. Afterwards, we shall look back upon and remember what it was. We have been a party of 20 here, so many different personalities and temperaments, all mixed up together. But there has been wonderful harmony, as we are all so united in our love for Baba. The gardens at the villa here are so beautiful, but we have not been out much, except to go down to the beach. The days have gone by so quickly, that every moment has been occupied. Baba has done a great deal of work here in preparing articles and lectures to be published after he speaks, and this has taken up the greater part of his time in the morning. Baba leaves here the day after tomorrow and goes to India, where he will stay only a short time, returning to Europe on the 10th of September and arriving in London the 12th. And he says he will break his silence on the 19th. But of course, he may change his plans, as he so often does. And we are accustomed to it now. I hope to come to America with Baba in October or the beginning of November. If so, it will be a great pleasure to meet you. I enclose a postcard, which will show you where our villa is. Anita is putting in a line. Write and let me know how you are, and more about everything, and I will keep you posted about Baba's plans and movements. Baba sends you his love and blessings. My love, dear Darwin, Quentin. My dear Darwin, all my love, MS Irani. <laughs>